Welcome back everybody to this new video of TechQuest. Today, I'm gonna to show you the very easy way how to get started in processing your transferring your domain from GoDaddy and send it directly into hosting it. So this step-by-step -step tutorial will cover everything you need to know to make the difference uh, on the transfer smooth and hassle-free. So first of all, what you need to do is to unlock your domain from GoDaddy. Let's go into GoDaddy.com. What you wanna do is to sign in. Once you sign in, you want to locate your GoDaddy domains. Let's go directly into domains. And here, we want to focus your domains already been added. So I'm going to go for browse my domain name options or go directly into your account into the upper side and go for my products. Into your product, you should locate the actual domain section that you have bought chased. So in my case, I'm going to scroll a little bit down and here should be appearance my domain. So. Once you find a domain you want to transfer, make sure it's unlocked it. Why don't you go here into Managed. Inside Managed, you want to make sure that this one is, of course, domain locked off. So inside here, I have my domain dashboard. Here we can focus into the hypothesis domain. Here is my domain, purchase it. And you want to focus into the option that says domain settings. Into domain settings, I want to make sure that this one is domain locked off. Once this one has not been successfully done, I'm going to focus now into the authorization code. You need to obtain the authorization code, also known as the EWP code from GoDaddy. So this code is necessary for the transfer. So if you see here the element that says transfer to another register, I select this. This one should be sending me a confirmation code. So make sure the administrator contact is current, very far the new email will set up your DNS contact section and then blah, blah, blah. So it's calling down, let's go for continue. And I'm gonna just close this pop-up banner and my domain is unlocked it and ready for the transfer. So here you're gonna click to see the authorization code and this is the authorization code. Now that I have this code, I'm gonna log in directly into Hostinger so I can access the same domain but now inside Hostinger. So to log into hosting, let's go here into logged in. If you don't have one, of course you have the link to download or description guys, so we can all get started totally for free. In this case, I'm gonna go directly into my Google account to make this process much more faster and easier. So let's go and select your account. Let's get into logged in, continue to the hosting global. And once you are signed in, what you want to do is to enter the domain name you want to transfer and follow the prompts. If you focus directly into the upper side, it says domains, you can see all your domains added. Let's go into the lip hub that says transfers. Into transfers, you can see that there's a transfer list. So if I choose the option that says uh, transfer domain to hosting, I select this and here I wanted to enable a domain for the transfer. So let's go back into GoDaddy and let's choose what is the actual name of my domain. If you don't remember it, you don't have to worry about it. We can always go back and paste it though. So in this case, it's techexpress.ltd and go for transfer. Now, this one automatically should be telling us what is the actual price for the transfer. The price includes a domain renewal. After the successful transfer, your domain expiration will be uh, like this. So if I go for purchased, here I need, of course, to make the payment to complete it. And now I can be able to have this domain transfer and add it in here. So I need to make sure that I have the domain unlocked and I have an authorization code in order to obtain it from the current register. So over the 60 days have passed the digital domain registration or last the transfer. So it's crawling a little bit down into the upper side. Let's go back directly into the domain. Let's go directly into the transfer to another register. After you have done this process, if you go back directly into your domains of the GoDaddy, you'll be prompted to enter the authorization code obtained from GoDaddy. And GoDaddy will be sent an email to the administrator contact for your domain to confirm the transfer. So check your email and follow the instructions to approve the transfer. This step is crucial as the transfer won't proceed without your confirmation. The transfer process can take anywhere from a few hours to up to seven days, so you want to take that in mind. And after that, you might see that your domain now appears into domain portfolio and its status is active. And when it expires, it should be added to them. You can enable the auto renewal if you wanted to or if you don't. Once the transfer is completed, you might be receiving a notification for Hostinger and you can also check your domain settings to ensure everything is set up correctly. And that is it. You have successfully transferred your domain from GoDaddy directly into Hostinger. 
This process gives you more control and flexibility over your domain and hosting. So if you find guys this tutorial helpful, please like the video, subscribe to Express, and click the bell for icon for more tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.